Lex Friedman is getting bullied and he looks, he sounds a bit upset. This happened the other day. Um, what happened? Why is he getting bullied? Let me think about it now. Oh, that's why. I think Lex was getting bullied because if you guys remember, Elon Musk did a poll where he said, do you want me to continue as CEO or step down or something? Everyone voted yes. And then, you know, started trolling him because he obviously didn't follow through and he's promised to step down. And then I think in the melee of all that, um, Lex Friedman put his hat in the ring and said he'd like to run it. But the funny thing and sad thing, I think Elon kind of subtweeted him and said, ah, the people who want the power least deserve it sort of thing. Basically saying that, you know, Lex is a flipping, a silent, flipping sociopath just ready to explode. The moment you gave him the keys to the flipping building, he would just go crazy. But ever since then, people have been trolling him really hard. And again, I think Lex is really, 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 really corny and really cringe and i've said it before i think he's a turbo dork and incredibly incredibly embarrassing and maybe somewhat on the spectrum considering how old he is and how juvenile he seems to act and how naive he is but i don't think it's a it's a crime to be a fanboy and i really do want to ask the question what do you think is the issue why do we have such a visceral kind of guttural um reaction to people who are overly fans of other people to the point where they're standing or they're fanboying or they're just, you know, too much in kind of gratiated or obsessed with this person. Why don't, why can't we stand it? Because basically Lex Friedman's biggest crime is that he really, really loves Joe Rogan and he really, really loves Elon Musk and obviously AI and shit, right? And MIT. But for sure, he loves Joe Rogan and he flipping loves Elon Musk. Is that really a crime? I know it's a bit embarrassing, it's a bit cringe, it's a bit kind of off-putting, but he hasn't really done anything wrong. And also, I really enjoy his podcast. I legitimately, that him aside, him aside as a person, bit cringe, bit annoying, turbo dork. His podcast legitimately might be one of the best podcasts, pound for pound, episode for episode out there. He's one of the best interviewers out there, very underrated. He gets some of the most interesting guests on there. It feels like I learn something every single episode I'm watching it. He legitimately has one of the best podcasts out there. And his Clips channel, whoever puts the clips together, I'm not sure if it's him, but whoever puts them out on a rapid flipping pace, they're amazing. Everything about the operation, the layout of it, um, the studio setup, the lighting, the microphones, it all just works works perfectly and i think and even the intro he doesn't waste too much time fluffing around it gets straight to the heart of the issue so as a podcaster he's really up there for me i really enjoy his pods i rarely miss an episode as a person i can understand why he's cringe but also like i said is it a crime to be a fanboy is it really a crime to be a fanboy like so what he fanboys over let you know joe rogan and elon musk there are worse people you could be fanboys of. And even and even Elon Musk and Joe, are they even that bad, really, to be honest? The people that really make... For instance, Elon's probably gone a bit off the reservation and maybe he's kind of turning people off. But the thing that makes Elon and Joe insufferable are their reply guys, right? They're over... You know, Joe has that Robin Black dude on Instagram who's always fucking commenting on Joe Rogan's post. He's one of the first people to comment on there. Um, you know, Elon has a whole bevy of guys who are way invested in Tesla stocks and all that sort of bullshit and just love everything that he does and suck him off at a moment's notice. Love all the SpaceX stuff and all that malarkey. But as people, they're not that, they're not too bad. Not too bad, in my opinion. Again, I've, I've contributed to some of the Lex hate, I'm sure. Um, I think he's insufferable. I hate the way he operates his fucking Reddit, where if you have anything critical to say, he just bans you completely instantly. And you can't, not even critical, even just some constructive feedback. He'll just ban instantly. Like he has that whole thing about, oh, I ban in love and peace and shit. You can go and fuck off with that shit. And even during the whole start of the UK, maybe the, the thing that turned me off to him mostly was when the whole um, Russian invasion of Ukraine happened. And he tried to say that he wanted to stop the war by getting fucking Vladimir Putin to sit down on his podcast and approach it with love and all this sort of bullshit. Like, fuck off. Do you know what I mean? That kind of over um, inflated kind of sense of self where you legitimately think speaking into a microphone is going to allow you or it's going to help in any way, shape or form to end the war is absolutely crazy. But aside from that, the guy seems pretty fine, in my opinion. I don't really have an issue with him. And I feel like some of the hate is gone a bit OTT and people just kind of pick on him because he's an easy target. He's not necessarily very cool. He's not necessarily, um, he doesn't, even though he's a fucking jujitsu black belt, he doesn't come across as intimidating. Uh, he doesn't exactly, he's not, you know, he's not the most witty person in the world, not the most, I don't know. 
there's something a little bit uh, asexual about him. Maybe people, maybe that's why people don't like him. I don't really know. Even the asexual thing. So what? I don't know. What's people, what's what's people's issue with the guy? I really don't understand it. It's really bizarre. People go way over the top in terms of their hate for him. But again, maybe I'll contribute to it so I can't, you know, be sitting here saying these kind of things. But like I said, I enjoy these podcasts. I think it's absolutely amazing. I really can check it out. But these are the tweets that he was, um, that I mentioned where I feel like he might be a bit sad. A few days ago, he said, um, I will never give in to cynicism. Love to you all. And another one said, sadly, I've been attacked a lot over the past two days. For example, my Wikipedia page has been edited to mostly remove my time at MIT. <laughs> I'm a research scientist at MIT working since 2015. I love it. The people there are amazing. The attacks aren't fun, but I remain optimistic. Yeah, man. All that. Honestly, sooner rather than later, he's going to explode. Much like Chris D'Elia, there's going to come a point where he just snaps and he might, you know, unfortunately do a bit of a Chris Benoit on his family. But there will come a time where all this kind of optimism and, you know, will, willful naivety will end up flipping, biting this guy in the ass, and you'll realise that real life isn't actually like that. And even if you do wish for the best, sometimes the worst happens. And sometimes with the good, do the best intentions that you address people, sometimes people can just show you their evil face regardless. So, you know, I don't know. People need to chill out with the Lex hate, man. There's far worse people out there you should be going after. I think Lex is fucking cool. He's much so is somewhat harmless. It is what it is. And also, it's not a crime to be a fanboy. It's not a crime to be a bloody fanboy.